Hi, welcome to this video on creating your Google Bard account. Google Bard, and we'll do a quick search here so you can see it, B-A-R-D, Google Bard is Google's uh, AI search engine similar to ChatGPT. Um, so uh, a couple things here. Number one, um, I'm signed in in Google Chrome right now with my school um, profile, which many of you probably are. So I'll do a quick search for Google Bard. It should work. It says right here, meet Bard. Like many Google things, it has the same sort of syntax, bard.google.com, just like docs.google.com or classroom.google.com. And I'm going to go to meet Bard, and it's going to land me here at its homepage, kind of tell me about it. And then I'm going to hit try Bard. When I do, you're probably going to get this screen. Um, it's very likely that your Google Bard is not enabled in your school district's um, settings or domain. And if it is, great, just keep on going. Uh, but it's pretty likely that it's turned off at this point. So in order to use Google Bard, what you have to do is you have to switch profiles or sign into Chrome with a personal or a different Gmail address. Now to do that, and you may do this for other things like having your personal email at work as well, Usually you can just go up into the top right hand corner, click on your icon. And if you have added those other profiles, so for example, I have several here, I can go ahead and I can click on that. If you don't have another profile added at this point, you can simply click add and you can sign into any other Gmail service or Gmail account that you have. And that will add it to this list here and allow you to toggle back and forth between the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my personal here. And it's just going to open a new browser window. Uh, so I still have those others. You can see down here I've got multiple Chrome settings or windows open now. And I'm just going to do a quick search for Google Bard again. I'm going to go through the same process. And this time when I go to the home page and land, it's going to let me in. Uh, because I'm not on a school account, now I'm on a personal account. So you'll see then uh, that we're signed in here. Um, looks similar. But that's the first hurdle to get yourself to Google Bard. Again, if you are part of a school account, um, it's probably not supported. So you're going to go in and you're going to switch to your personal profile and you're going to go ahead and visit bard.google.com again. Thanks.